as you keep building your website design and keep adding images and big images like this one, your document is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and your computer is going to run slower, slower and slower. I mean, the more big images it has to process, uh, well, the, the slower, the more RAM and uh, processor power consuming uh, the whole process is going to get. So there's one little trick that you can do um, to make sure that uh, everything looks nicely, but at the same time, everything, I mean, the, the process is fast and smooth. If you know that you are going to be, well, leaving this image as is, you want your hero image to be as tall as this guy right here, and you want it to be cropped like this, you can simply select it. And now if we just go to File, Export, we can just select Selection without background, make it a JPEG, drop down the quality to around 75%, just like so. And now when we export this image uh, with uh, these settings, the whole image is going to get cropped. This, it's no, it no longer be a huge image. It will be much, much smaller, but it will be well the same as the one uh, that you are seeing right here. So if I now just go ahead and click export and I'm going to call it as um, image cropped, just like so. And now I can simply delete it. And now if I gonna go to the place image tool and then I can check where I put my, here, is the, here it is. And if I just click here, you can see that I have my image cropped and perfectly aligning with my, with my whole, um, whole website design. And uh, this is actually you can do with all your, well, at least those big images. If your computer is maybe a bit slower, if you don't have enough RAM or your processor is a bit slow, you can always just uh, tell Affinity Designer to, in a way, optimize the images by simply making them smaller. And once you have them cropped, once you have them, well, prepped just the way you want them to be, uh, you can simply save them as separate assets and then add them again. But uh, they will be much smaller uh, and the quality will be pretty much, uh, pretty much uh, the same and everything will run smoother. So now we are actually ready to start adding uh, color um, to our image. And again, there will be something that you have to, <laughs> that you have to uh, bear in mind when adding a uh, color um, to your images, because you might be tempted, like I am usually tempted to do one thing, but it won't work as it should. So let's talk about it in the next video.